My name is Terrence Blue, and I've been attending a community church Slidell campus uh, for about three months or so. I was raised by my my grandparents, and they always taught us, you know, you know, the God is real, and um, that Jesus Christ is real. And then, you know, you you grow up and you go through life, and you know, young people are going to be young people. But uh, I started my personal relationship probably when I was in college, and I really felt that. Like God called me and, you know, that's when I started to, you know, go to church more and try to try to learn for myself what my grandparents were, were, were talking about. It's because of that foundation that I'm equipped to deal with the things that I'm dealing with now. Well, honestly, the past couple of years have been extremely tough for me. In 2020, I lost my, my grandfather and, you know, it, it started a chain of events in my life. It's, it's, it's really tough to talk about um, because he was who I went to, you know, for guidance for a lot of stuff. And coming, you know, from a, a tough background, um, you know, I feel like he gave me a lot of tools to succeed in life. And, you know, not having him there, it's, it's just hard. I, I recently lost my best friend. He, he passed away this year from cancer. And recently um, divorced, but you know, just living and trying to stay strong. You know, I've had to, you know, stand up like for my family. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm that person that tries to, you know, keep the stuff together and do things right. And, you know, I put an immense amount of pressure on myself. And that's how I got kind of astray from my mission with God. And I've hit some really, really dark times, but I'm just thankful that I had that foundation with God um, to know, to seek his face when things get really, really dark. I'm just thankful I found community. I heard about community church through a friend. I was looking for um, a new church home and he mentioned to me that um, he had attended community church and he actually was able to forward me a video of Pastor Nate uh, preaching and the message stuck with me and I ended up looking up um, the Slidell campus, um, it was right down the street from my house and I've been attending ever since. Uh, since I've uh, joined community, I've been able to, to go through the growth track. And I believe that, you know, going through that, it, it was that reminder that I needed, you know, that it's not about me no matter what's going on. And um, it just poured me back into um, to serving God's kingdom. I'm involved in the, the uh, welcome team group um, men's discipleship group, and um, I serve on a student ministry. Uh, watching the students, you know, really engage and uh, wanted to, you know, learn more about God, it, um, it just reminded me that's where it starts. You know, being able to be in a, a situation where you can impart that on the young, uh, you know, our young leaders of the future, right? Um, it, just, it was just a positive experience, and, uh, and it's good for me considering my situation, so. But, you know, as I'm changing, because there's a lot of growth that I, you know, had to do, you know, then a lot of introspection over the past, you know, six or seven months. You know, I realized there are some mistakes that, that I made. Honestly, um, I feel like I'm, I, I am where I'm supposed to be right now. It's as difficult as my life has been. I think that, you know, as I continue to rebuild my spirit and, and serve and I'll get closer to my purpose. And that's what I ex expect to happen. You know, I will always think about Job in the Bible. You know, sometimes things happen that you just, you can't explain, you know. Um, but the, though he slay me, yet will I serve him. Life can be hard sometimes. And so many times when it gets hard, people give up. You know, understanding that turn to God and he can restore you. So I fully expect to one day be able to be completely happy again, you know, and, uh, and I, I feel that I'm surrounded by faith-filled friends and, you know, people that encourage you to grow and learn and, and I can't ask for anything else right now, you know.